Hello everyone welcomes to my channel everything ps. In this tutorial, I am gonna show you how to make subscribe button animation using a ready-made template. With a few steps, stay tuned. First, download the template you will find the download link in the description box. After downloading the file you will find it as a zip file unzip the file. The password is everything ps. Now, open the file that you found. You will find an After Effects file opens it. Now the program has opened you will be asked for permission to convert this version to the version you working on. Then, click OK. Now, let us see what is the subscribe button animation looks like. Press space to play. Now, we will change the channel name. Go to the composition with the name main file and open it. Now, go to the layer with the name AE Tutorials and double click on it. Now, enter your channel name. Then, select the text. Then, from here resize the name of the channel. Now, go to the layer with the name Join Our Channel and double click on it. Then, type anything you want. For me, I will keep it. Now, let us move to the next step changing the logo. Now, go to Bring Your Logo. Drag your logo and put it here. Go and select the selection tool. Now, resize your logo. Click and drag and hold Alt plus Shift in order to maintain the ratio between length and width. Now, for me, my logo is PNG, so it has no background, so I will create a white background for it. Then, select the second layer with the name your logo. And right click from new choose as solid make sure the color is white. Then click OK. Now, let us see the final result. Go to the composition with the name final. Press space to play. Now let us remove this black background. Go to this little icon toggle transparency grid and click on it. Here we go we removed the background. Let us move to the final step export the video. Go to file export add to render queue. Then, from Output Module click on Lossless. From Format choose QuickTime. And from Channels choose RGB plus Alpha. Now, go and check Resize. You can enter any resolution you want. For me, I will enter 1920x1080 pixels. and make sure that the resize quality is high. Then, click OK. Now from output you can choose where you want to save your video. Choose the place and name the video if you want.
Then, click Save. Now, click Render. Here we go we are done. Today tutorial is finished. I hope you enjoyed it. If the video was helpful for you to hit on the like button and subscribe. Don't forget to turn the bell button on so you don't miss the next videos. And if you have time to learn more. Look at the old videos on the channel. See you in a new video soon. Bye bye.